We are County 001, the county of Mombasa, and not any other place, but Technical University of Mombasa, where we are celebrating lives. I'm sure you don't want to miss this, as we're celebrating talents among persons with disabilities. It is not just an usual day, because we are so marking the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. Come with me as we witness greatness with these people. Today we are at Technical University of Mombasa, where we are marking the International Day of Persons with Disabilities. And uh, it has been such a marvelous day as we saw most of the persons with disabilities showcasing their talents. And also as we are celebrating Uhai Festival, Kosa Circuit. And so, with me here you can see this beautiful lady who can't hide her excitement being part of this day. And she wants to share her joy with the whole world. Thank you so much. My name is Jemaima Kutata, Miss President Mombasa County and a resource mobilizer at the Association for the Physically Disabled of Kenya. I'm also a member of Kenya Network of Women and Girls with Disability, uh, which advocates for the rights of girls and women. Uh, today is a great day for us, for all of us globally because we are celebrating the UN International Disability Day and as you can see the place is packed because everybody wanted to come and hear what is new because this is a day that we normally look back and see where the journey of disability started, where we are and where we are going. And as you can see in, the, in Kenya, at least, uh, we have a representation uh, in the National Assembly, at the County Assembly, which has never been there. So we are seeing like, like uh, it's a mileage for the country, because even you can remember the pre-global summit was held here in, in uh, Kenya. And most of the people countrywide participated on it, which shows that Kenya has, yeah, has taken a mileage when it comes to disability inclusion. And today we were very happy because the senior people in the county government of Mombasa attended the event. And also persons with disabilities came out in plenty and spoke out their hearts, where they're hurting and where they're celebrating. At least this is, will, will help the county government to enable us have a policy which will be able to guide the county and also put things on order in this county. How can you describe today's event, that we, the fact that we are marking International Day of Persons with Disabilities? I can appreciate this day, today event because you are, I can say today's event has been successful and uh, thinking thing disabled we are being recognized in the world. If we, this day can be marked like this, this means people now understand how disabled we need the assistance. So uh, today has been a remarkable day and I uh, thank God because I've seen the ministers here and uh, to me it's a great joy. Yeah. yeah. And, uh, and, and I, I wanted to add a point before I wish People Christmas. Yeah, it's okay. I wanted to say this. I've seen some. You'll pardon me because I'm going out of the topic for, okay, a, okay. for a moment. Yes. When it comes to election, disabled people normally we like contesting in one place. For example, maybe Shans Ward. If somebody has started like me, maybe I'm vying Shans Ward. My opinion is that another disabled should go to another ward. You know, if we, you know, some people may like to vote for us because of the way we are sympathy. As if we are two or three, we are dividing those people. So my view is that we should be distributed. distributed. And uh, my last comment is that the government needs to do a bit more about the disability. Especially when it comes to tenders and uh, employment, because most of the disabled we are suffering. And the majority of them are in their seat begging. So um, I like the government to do more because we have been pro being promised many things, but only see them. Like recently, we were being, uh, we were be, there were some censors being done around uh, October, November there, uh, September there, and then they say they will start giving us some money. But up to now, there's nothing has come on. 
But although October from first they will be receiving something, they will say 2,000. But I was among them who have uh, done that census. But nothing has happened to me up to now. And uh, something must be done. They know this that Sense Media is one of the it's the only media house in Kenya that's so inclusive. Oh great. Yeah, I'm really happy to personally the country government of Mombasa for that. <laughs> well uh, anyone who embraces humanity, be it a, uh, a media house, uh, be it uh, a bus company, be it uh, an office that has, has decided to place ramps and make sure that they appreciate and accept these people, that they also need to access their buildings. Anyone who embraces humanity, be it people with disability or not, then those are people that we shall always work with. And we thank you for the good job that you're doing, especially for uh, this specific day. It cannot be a success without uh, the world getting to know that we are passing on love to everyone out there and that can only be done with the help of the media. Yeah. So what you're doing is commendable and congratulations for the good job. My name is Amis Juma, I'm the County Chief of Science in Charge of Youth, Gender, Sport and Social Services and today we are here to mark the celebration of our brothers and sisters living with disability. Today is a very important day in our life and history because uh, we are converging together to discuss our issues and uh, how we can champion the right of people living with disability. And uh, there is one thing which is very important the county government of Mombasa is undertaking. undertaking. We have already drafted uh, Mombasa County Disability Policy which we are just waiting for the approval from the county government of Mombasa because it is enshrined in the constitution that uh, legislation is normally done at the county assembly. Therefore, this, uh, is, this is a document that uh, will ensure that uh, all the rights uh, are captured in this document and therefore it will be easier for us as a government to make sure that uh, we, we, we enforce them. Because uh, when you don't have a policy, definitely you will not have a direction yeah. and you will not have a, a mission or agenda. So once we have that policy and then we shall have a, an act that will make sure that um, we are bringing a, a friendly disability environment in our infrastructure, in our roads, in our offices. As we are speaking right now, there are so many government offices which uh, they are not accessible by the people living with disabilities. When you look at our road, there are no pavement, there are no parking sites for people living with disability. So in this policy, it will be a mandatory that uh, every building, every road, they should be disability friendly so that uh, the people living with, with disability can be able to access. So we have many plans that um, are aimed to make sure that uh, people living with disability enshrine people living with disability are involved in the government of His Excellency Abdul Samad Sharif Nasir and he has captured that in his 10 agenda in his manifesto that uh, inclusivity will be his priority. Yeah. Thank you very much. My name is Francis Aganda. I'm here representing Commissioner Mishi Jumamboko at the Parliamentary Service Commissioner. And uh, this is a special day for us because we have to show, show solidarity with our brothers and sisters who are able differently. And I don't say that they, are, they have a disability, but they have ability in other areas that normal people like us don't have. Uh, Commissioner Mishi Jumamboko is so passionate about the disability people. And um, as uh, early as uh, uh, the last session of the parliament, we have already tabled a motion with concerning uh, mental health. So we want to incorporate uh, mental health departments in all education and uh, medical facilities in the country. Because uh, uh, she saw it fit that uh, uh, disability can be in physical form and uh, 
a form that is not physical. So she's trying to tackle that at that level. And uh, many other, many other uh, legislations that uh, we are drafting towards the people who are able differently. So it was a very special day for us to just to come and show solidarity with the county government of Mombasa because uh, they, they, were big, they were big on this day and they were big in terms of um, appreciating our brothers and sisters who live differently. So let us keep spreading love. Let us keep uh, showing respect because at the end of the day we are all human. Thank you very much.